We need a hit, so here I go. Welcome, everyone, to the studios of JustRipIt.com. Happy 2019, our first live broadcast of the year of 2019. And let me tell you something. It's very important that it's 2019 because everyone's cards got a year older. They all are a year older, and that means they're just going to go up more and more in value. Like, for instance, this 1975 Beauty we're opening up tonight, believe it or not, is 44 years old. 44. I was like a little kid buying these things. Little kid. 25 cents. That was a lot, a lot of money back then. I mean, I used to walk in with pennies. I mean, trying to get to the 25 cents, praying there wasn't sales tax. Used to get a slice of pizza and a Pepsi for like 55 cents. I had 45 cents left over. You know the balance was going to this pack. We'll be opening it up tonight. A uh, couple of uh, sad notes. Uh, a good old buddy of mine, Mean Gene Oakland, passed away. Not a buddy, but, you know, 76 years old. For those of you who follow wrestling, uh, really just a great, great announcer. He, he was the, the voice of wrestling. Mean Gene, he was that little guy that just was dwarfed by giants out there. and uh, Just a great voice. A great actor. He got spit on by everybody. Andre, Ric Flair, throughout all the big wrestling stars of the 80s and 90s. Uh, I'm also looking around for some wrestling cards. Uh, getting some requests. 1982 and 83 were the two big uh, years. The wrestling classics with Andre. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Woo! Ric Flair, rookie card. Worth a lot of money. They came in a cello pack through a redemption. Very hard to find. I may venture into some of the earlier, or a little bit later cards in the 90s, just for uh, nostalgic purposes. It's good to bring up those wrestling guys. Everybody knows the wrestlers. Everyone. If you get a chance to watch Andre the Giant on HBO, great show. Ric Flair 3030 on ESPN. Boy, that guy could drink. Whew. Speaking of drinking, don't forget we have these beautiful Just Rip It mugs. Ah, delicious. Okay, also uh, Tyler Trent, that little boy from Purdue University who had cancer passed away. Made a lot of headlines uh, in the news. Kind of sad. Uh, big Purdue uh, motivational uh, situation going on down there. Uh, our condolences to him also. Uh, well, listen, the NFL, wild card weekend, college football, one game left, just one, and that's Alabama Clemson, and that should be a doozy. That's on Monday night. Tune in. I had the pleasure of going to the Orange Bowl down in Miami last week and watched Alabama hold off Oklahoma. What an atmosphere. An atmosphere that is beyond belief. If you had a chance to ever go to a major bowl game, take your son, go yourself, go. It's worth it. Sit anywhere in the arena. You have a blast. Uh, once again, JustRipIt.com. We're going to be opening up this 1975 cello tonight. PSA 8. And on the cover we have... Mike Schmidt, home run leader, 1974. And that'll be a little clue on what's happening there. Uh, let me see here. 19... A couple of football slots. The football is winding down. The football packs are starting to go. There's only six left of this 1974 Topps football wax pack. Uh, there's 10 cards in there. And there's a bonus uh, checklist in each pack. Um, I'm also giving away... Any football purchase over $25, the same pack, but there's only one card in here. This was a promotional pack. In there is one card and a molded piece of gum. So if you make a purchase of $25 or more, or you want to close out this pack, this will be inclu included with your card that we pull and rip open that night. From there. Uh, also, I can't wait to open up this. I'm telling you, only six slots left. Uh, by the way, you can see some little browning. That's not the card. That's the cellophane. Uh, Gene Gedman on the front. I gave a little teaser that there's a Hall of Fame guy in the back. Only six slots left. John Unitas, Jim Brown, 
five figures or more. A great, great odds on pulling a Hall of Famer in this in this pack. You can just see the card itself, the corners, everything's perfect. It'll come down to centering. So watch those packs. Watch them on our JustRipIt.com. We have other packs out there. Running a lot of promotions, like I said. $25 or more any football pack will get you this one card penny promo pack. And if you buy any purchase of $25 or more on any of our baseball shares, just $25 or more, a 1968 Major League Baseball iron-on. Uh, I wouldn't iron it on, be at your risk, but it's just a little nostalgic pack. Uh, probably before a lot of everybody's time out there. Uh, with any $25 purchase, these two will go out. Any non-sport, uh, we'll flip a coin. Let us know which one you want, and we'll send it out to you. Other promos coming down the line also. Uh, we could be giving away this King Kong 1976 pack. You don't, you can't go wrong with Kong. Uh, there's only, he's the king, not Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, there's a lot of other kings out there. They discuss LeBron. No, he's the king. King Kong. Uh, I got some also, as the other promos run out, a 1975 Real Cloth Baseball patch. Once again, sealed. And there's a patch. And I can feel the gum. I can hear the gum. Uh, that'll be given away once we start running out of the other ones, which those 1968 iron-ons, I think I got about maybe seven or eight left. Uh, also, look for these. Got a couple of these in. These are 1961 new card, five cent packs. They're college cards. Uh, sealed. They're not graded, and nor are they searched because they are perforated and sealed already. They were ahead of the time. This is how the packs are today, by the way. No more wax packs today. They're machine sealed. Uh, new card scoop really had it going back then for a nickel. And just a nice little nostalgic pack. These will be given away. And to make life easier so you don't have to keep rewinding and hearing me go on and on, we added an amazing tab that's called promos and on there will be all the promotions. So in case you get lost, you don't remember this, you're trying to write it down, stop. Go to the promotional page. Uh, we had some specials running to the end of the year due to popular demand. I know it was the holidays, people were away, people were asking. We extended it to the end of January. Gives you 28 more, 29 more days to go in there. Take advantage of the promotions. You get the free pack. You spend $100 or more, you get 5,000 reward points. That's equivalent to $50. And a lot of people out there haven't used their points. You like to accumulate them, I understand. Uh, feel free to use them. The quicker you use the points, the quicker we open the packs and we keep things rolling here at JustRipIt.com. Uh, what else do I got? Any more notes? Uh, oh, also a... Oh, oh, also... Uh, once again, on Wild Wednesdays here, where we do ripping on Wednesday, uh, any on top of all the promotions, anybody tonight up to midnight Eastern that makes a purchase of $50 or more, not only will they receive the free packs, not only if it's over a hundred, they'll get the 5,000 points, but anything over $50 or more, I will give you a Just Rip It t-shirt. Just like our logo is, I got larges, extra larges, and that's just for tonight and tonight only. Fifty dollars or more. We're giving away so much. It's like it's like it's like the holidays again. We're just giving everything away. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna give away this the keyboard and every I mean, all the stuff here. Or maybe you can come on the show. That would be a great idea if anybody has anything going on there on that point. Hello there, Redbird from Facebook. Uh, we are also live on Facebook also due to popular demand. A lot of people who aren't in front of you, you know, can't get to YouTube. Uh, we are live on Facebook.com. You'll see us scrolling. Feel free to check it out. I think it's just a more uh, way to, to see the broadcast live. Uh, you're at your in-laws, you're bored, they're all yapping about somebody doing something stupid. Go get your phone, go sit on the couch. You know what? Watch a little Just Rip It Live. And they ask what you're doing. Just say you're doing some work. They'll never know. Uh, lastly, uh, you asked for it and you got it. By our next broadcast, you will see an NHL and NBA sealed, graded, and unsearched pack. I'm doing some research on them now. They will be posted. We will email you when they're up there. Uh, we now have all sports. And like I said, I'm poking around the wrestling ring. I think the wrestling is very important. 
I love wrestling. I feel, I mean, I saw, you're going to see Mean Gene Oakland on the news. Maybe you'll see him on Monday Night Raw. Great announcer. He'll be sorely missed. I wish he was still around today for everybody else to enjoy. Uh, we're going to get to this pack in about two minutes. Uh, one little teaser. We are going to be doing what is called an equity pack. I'm going to go over more in details. I'm ironing out the final uh, details on the equity pack. Uh, I'm not going to give out too much information now. It's going to be an old vintage pack. And just to give you a little teaser, we're not going to randomize where you get the one card. Everyone's going to share in the pack. So if you got, there's no order. We're going to open up the pack and we're going to send these cards to PSA and we're going to send them in to get graded. We're going to sell them at an auction house. And if you happen to be part of that equity, we get all the money that comes back in to just rip it and we distribute it to each shareholder of that pack. A little complicated. I'd rather have you see it in writing and I can't wait to see the equity pack. You're going to see some packs that are really, that got dust on them. They're, they're, they're so old and they're just full of value. Full of value on there. Okay, well, let's get down to it. 1975 cello pack. Uh, it is 44 years old. It did sell out. We have a wax pack mini from 1975, and we have another cello pack from 1975. There's about maybe off the top of my head, there were 660 cards in this set. Uh, about 50 are, are some doozies. They're, they're up there. Uh, I really think uh, if you're lucky enough, anybody in holding shares in this pack can get a nine, one of those 50 guys. They're going to be great. Of course, you know, George Brett, Robin Yount, and Nolan Ryan. If you pull one of these cards and the centering's there, corners look pretty good. Uh, if this comes back as a 10, you're talking 15 to 20,000 or more. And there's three guys, not just one. It's not like the Mick. It's not uh, Ted Williams or whatnot. It's Yount, Brett, and Nolan Ryan. Key cards in there. Uh, I, on my list, if you go in there, there's also Reggie Jackson, Thurman Munson, uh, Willie Stargell, Dave Winfield, Pete Rose, Jim Rice, Bob Gibson, Jim Palmer, uh, Rod Carew, Tom Seaver, a bunch of MVP cards. Johnny Bench is in here. Raleigh Fingers, Steve Carlton, Lou Brock, Carlton Fisk, Frank Robinson, Harmon Killebrew, uh, MVPs of Mickey Mantle, uh, worth a lot of money in a PSA 10. Uh, they drop off considerably after a nine. Uh, the last card in the set, number 660, Hank Aaron, you pull him in a PSA nine. Last card. The home run king, I still consider him the home run king, will yield you some dinero. Okay. Time to rip. It is time to rip. Time to get the tools. Scalpel. Pliers. My safety goggles. And we're going to open up this pack pretty soon. We're going to go to the randomizer first. Let's get that. Let's roll the dice. Snake eyes, too. Oh, that could be off to a good, good start. We're going to randomize these names two times. You can see all our participants here. Once again, we don't want to go in any specific order. Since the dice rolled the two, this will be very quickly. We're going to hit this twice and rearrange all the participant shareholders in a randomized order to keep it fair. There's one. And there's two. These are 18 people. And for those of you new to JustRipIt.com, we populate this into our customer list. And just like that, there is everybody, just as we randomized it. Snake eyes. Let's hope it brings us some luck, guys. I am really very excited over this pack. Daniel Barlin, Thomas Church, Jerry Fortunato, Tom Chimpaglia, Gerard C., Will Coleman, Brian Zukowski. I think I got everybody. Terry Galati, Gelati. Uh, good luck, everybody. Let's get this pack open. We take our time in opening up this pack. It is 44 years old. It's a mess. Again, sealed. Nothing to be tampered with. I'm not a magician. PSA does one heck of a job.
That hit me right in the goggles. I feel like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with these goggles. James Worthy. Whoa. Holy shnikey. Oh! Wow. And PSA, you know, I gotta call, I gotta call them. They gotta, they, they gotta do this. This has gotta be a little bit more, less dangerous. It ain't easy. Okay, no bare feet allowed. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Uh, we do send these back to PSA. Uh, we want the population of these graded, unsearched and sealed packs to go down. You know our motto here, you heard it before. We will not stop until every pack is open. We will find, buy, grab as many sealed packs as possible and we will open them all up. These things have been sleeping for so long, I'm tired of it. We gotta get these cards out. It's money. You're on this planet once. People leave these things in a safe deposit box. There's plastic all over the place. It's raining plastic. All right, let's put this tool away. Goggles. But uh This goes back to PSA, like I said. We send that back to them. Look for our ad in PSA. We're gonna be on the radio show near the end of the month. We have ads going out, we have emails going out. We work with PSA, because any card that we pull that has significant value, juststripit.com, on the house, we'll send it to PSA. We will have it graded, and we'll let you know how it does. Woo! It even comes in a night, even that hard plastic case comes right in there. Richard Weiss, rip it already? All right, I know, a lot of, a lot of impatient people out there. Time is money. Who wants that Yount Brett Ryan? This is sealed. And the top card is Daniel Barlin. You know, we always start from the top. The wrappers is really, really. This, this thing was, oh, these cards are beautiful. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I don't know if anybody wants this wrapper at the end. Maybe I'll surprise somebody and put it in there. Okay, <clears throat> card number one, the Daniel Barlin. It is the Dick Allen, Mike Schmidt, home run leader. Beautiful, beautiful card. Hey, he's got goggles like me there, Dick Allen. Look at that. Is it possible Dick Allen was maybe ripping cards open? You never know. Daniel, card number 307 on the back is all the home run leaders, very nostalgic. This card looks pretty well centered. It's a beautiful card. It's going right into the card saver. Oh, and all those promotional packs, $25 or more, uh, you'll get them when your pack is opened and we'll send it out to you. Number two, Thomas Church, Larry Bittner. Montreal Expos, and is that a close-up of the glove or what? The glove looks like the size of the guy's body. It's like it's like a body bag glove. And he, actually, that's not a real order, but they signed it. Card number 543. I mean, these cards tend to get bad grades because of the chipping. The chipping means the color, their colored border. 1971, I believe, was the other year Tops did that. Very hard to find these anywhere without the chips, and these cards have no chips. And it goes right as it takes in oxygen for the first time in 44 years into our card saver. Number three, Jeffrey Fortunato, Tom Bergmeier. Looks like Tom had hurt his back or something. He's hunched over. Maybe he dropped a quarter. Maybe he dropped his glasses. Maybe he's trying to, looks like he's trying to zone into the catcher. Can't see what he's saying. Little well centered, little top to bottom, as you can see. We can barely get his name right there. Card number 478. Little back, you got a little riddle on the back. Congratulations, Jeff. Number four, Tom Chimpaglia, Dave Tomlin. Little off center, Dave don't look too happy. Maybe he went 0 for 4. 
He's a pitcher. Maybe he gave a couple home runs. Doesn't look too happy. Come on, come on, Dave. Smile for the camera. You're on, you're on a Topps baseball card, for God's sake. Smile. Number four. Congratulations, Tom. Padre pitcher. Beautiful colors on these. Beautiful. Number five. Gerard C. Andy Etchbaron. Yeah, see Andy's smiling there. He's happy. He's a catcher. Got his Oriole hat on. Card number 593. Alright. Card number six. William Coleman. Maximino Leon. Maximino Leon. Maximino looks like a little Narcos in him there. I wouldn't mess around with Maximino. Beautiful center, though. Look at the red and the green. The red, the green, the Braves color. Another pitcher for the Braves. Card number 442. Going out to Will Coleman. Next up is Daniel Barlin. And slot number seven. Chair number seven. Larry Haney of the A's. Great action shot there, Larry. Catcher for the A's. That is card number 626. Again, beautiful corners, no chipping, a good compliment. Anybody trying to build a raw set. We are looking for Yount, Ryan, and Brett. Oh, please, where are they? Here is the gum. It's got that powder on it. It's all broken. But we are on halfway through the almost halfway through the pack. Card number eight. Jeffrey Fortunato. Luke Walker. No relation to the Skywalker, Luke Skywalker of Star Wars, but the man looks like he's out in space right now. He's just out in no man's land. He's not even on the mound. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's warming up. Nicely centered car, though. Again, corners are immaculate. PSA looks at the edges. The edges are superb. These are pack fresh mint condition cards. Card number nine coming up. For Brian Zukowski, Cesar Geronimo. I don't know if it's in relation to the Indian Geronimo, but outfielder for the Reds. Pretty well centered. Card number 41. Beautiful, beautiful picture here. Card number 10, William Coleman, Dave Parker. Dave Parker, card number 29. He is a Hall of Famer. Uh, let me just do a little quick. Doesn't look that bad. I believe Dave Parker is up there. I'm going off the PSA website. It's PSACard.com. Uh, PSA 10 is $500. And that's a PSA. Usually it's more because the cards, it's just an estimate. This doesn't look that bad at all, Daniel. This this is a nice card. It looks pretty pretty good centered. It's just a smidge off. Back also. Not that bad. Really a great player. I got nothing bad to say about this guy. Congratulations there, Daniel. Hall of Famer, Will you Stargell? Beautiful card. That's just that a beautiful green. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Number 11, William Coleman, Felix Mion. I remember him. Everybody remember Felix Mion? Old Met player. I think he played for the Yankees, too. Second baseman. Again, you're going to just keep, if I had a dollar for every time I said it, I could go out and buy another pack. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Centering looks pretty good. The colors are vibrant. Good Met player there. Card number 11 for William Coleman. Terry Gelati's up next. We got Bob Reynolds. You know what? That's beautifully centered. That's nice. Not a big fan of Bob Reynolds. Card number 142. No relation to Burt Reynolds. But they're all wearing that Burt Reynolds mustache. They want to be like the bandit. And there he is. Nice card there, William. Card, I'm sorry, 12. Card number 12, Terry Gelati. Card number 12. Number 13, William Coleman again. I ain't going to try to pronounce this guy's name. Billy Grabarkowitz. 
I don't think that name would fit on the jersey. You probably have to have like the grab, the bark on the top, and the Ewitz on the bottom. Uh, a little off centered on the top, you can see a little bit of blue. Car number 233. He even had a middle name Billy Cordell Grab Berkowitz. I don't know. I think maybe he would just call himself the Grabber or something. Car number 14. Still waiting for Yount, Brett, Ryan, Munson, Reggie. Well, we got a Reggie, but it's Reggie Cleveland. I guess Reggie was a big popular name back then. Reggie Cleveland. Uh, Dave, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, you're right there, Bill. He's not in the Hall of Fame, Dave Parker. I think he should have been. Either way, it's a tough card, and it's one of the higher-end cards of the pack. Reggie Cleveland, card number 32. That goes to number 14, Terry. Look at the Reggie bars. I still love those Reggie bars. The orange package. Fans used to throw them at Yankee Stadium. Okay, where are we at? Number 15, Gerard C. Daryl Thomas, Sporting the Shades. It's before Ray-Ban, the Oakleys are out. They just went out there with their sunglasses like they drive in their car with. No one knew back then. Nicely centered. Card number 378. That's going out to Gerard. Card number 16, Terry, Len Randall. Uh... Len looks a little be a little upset in that picture. Very nicely centered. Boy, this pack was really centered nice. Uh, we needed some Hall of Famers in there. That's the breaks, boy. Boy, he looks like he hurt himself there. I don't know, maybe he hurt. Look at he broke his wrist. He's screaming. Look at look, look at him screaming. Card number two fifty nine, going out to Terry Galati. Card number seventeen, one of my Yankee favorites. I remember Mr. Dick Tidro. He had that long. Almost Raleigh Fingers mustache. Again, beautiful. the centering on 75 is the toughest. Uh, and it's a shame we didn't pull anybody else. But listen, this is, this is, these are beautiful cards. Richard William Tidrow. A Yankee, number 241, going out to Gerard. And our last card goes out to William Coleman. Joe L-I-S. That's it. He shortened his name. Card number 86, Joseph Anthony Liss. Not a Hall of Famer. Boy, uh, he's up there too at PSA. Must be a tough card. PSA 10, $475 on the PSA website. Tough card to get in any type of condition. And there we have it, folks. All 18. These will all be shipped out. If you hit our promo, you will get a promo pack included with them. <clears throat> I think the best card, I think Joe List is up there. And there's Dave Parker again. I love that card. Yeah, Willie Stargell was there. The Pirates had a stacked team that year. They really did well. Okay, as everyone else knows, congratulations, everybody. Uh, and just rip it. What we do now is we randomize one lucky winner which will receive, in this case, 400 extra reward points. So what we do again is we roll the dice. And eight times we'll randomize it. Eight times on my cue. And whoever finishes number one will receive 400 points. Everybody who bought a card got 250 points. One lucky winner will get an additional 400. You do the math, 650 points. Go buy another share. Keep the ball rolling. All right, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. William Coleman, congratulations. You get the dividend of 400 bonus points right into your account. Let those points accumulate. It's big. We try to lower the cost as best as we can. There's going to be more giveaways. There's going to be bonus dividends, bonus packs. I could just randomly want to give away one of these to one lucky winner. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to re-randomize again. And one lucky winner is going to get one of our 1975 baseball patches. Patch. So, once again, I like doing this randomizer. We'll randomize it again. 
eight more times. And this lucky winner will get a free pack included. Let me just make some notes here. Coleman gets 400 points. We journal that in within a couple of hours, but give us 24. You know how it is. Eight times, we're going to re-randomize this just for kicks. 1975 baseball patch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Terry Galati, congratulations. You will get a beautiful FLIR patch. This will go right out to you. Actually, I need a little bit bigger. Open the pack. It's a patch. I, I, I'm not saying there's not anything material worth it in there. It's more nostalgic. Same year as the 75 cello you're getting. Uh, just a good thing to have. Open it. I always want all our customers to get a chance to actually open the pack up. Do not eat the gum. Just throw the gum out. And this goes out to Terry Galati. Terry. All right, well, that was exciting. 1975 was a great year. All those cards will go out. The promotions will go out also. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have over 2,000 Facebook likes. We're getting a lot of response. Uh, the shares are going to start going faster, kind of under the radar right now. But get out there and follow us. And please, I beg everyone, subscribe to our, our newsletter. You get special promotions. You get YouTube updates. Facebook notifications, it's very important uh, to keep going with the flow so you don't miss a thing. If you missed our live broadcast, no big deal. Go to our JustRipIt.com, go to our video archive. All our videos will be up there forever. Uh, you can watch it in your spare time. You can fast forward it when I get a little boring on everybody. Um, lots, to do, lots, lots to do there. Lots to go on for. Well, happy 2019. This will conclude our show. Shares are starting, they're pretty, they're, they're spread out pretty good. Uh, like I said, when the shares get lower, you'll see a blink on our ticker tape. And when it gets to two or less starts blinking, people come out of the woodwork. Uh, you know, that's how it is. They, they just, they wait to the last minute and they go. But we got a good general uh, shares being sold out throughout every pack. And we got some big promotions coming up. And you're going to see us uh, on PSA Radio Show. Look for some special guests in 2019. It's going to be an exciting year. There's going to be a lot going on. Uh, I'm looking forward to it very much. Going to close out with a little Jolt and Joe DiMaggio. And once again, we'll see you next Wednesday, Ripping Live on JustRipIt.com. We will see you then.